All right, man. So look, so the new song, talk about the new song. Like you said, um, it's, it's really the, the new hello. Yeah. And uh, what made you come up with this concept? Oh, uh, man. You know, I was working on my album, Hope Living, and then I decided to take a break from it. And then I said, you know, everything I'm doing is, 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 un, is not traditional, you know, from the way I design, from the projects I mess with. And I just felt like the only thing that I was doing traditional was music and the way that I was putting it out and things like that. And I just wanted to change the whole structure of that. Yeah. You know, um, I'm not with a major label, but I'm doing things bigger than if I was with a major label. For real. You know, when you go to the movies, you're going to see the Everyday Birthday trailer before 007 or Flight come on. Oh, yeah. You know, um, endless promotions going on with that. And I just decided to put out moments because when people look for Swiss beats, they look for having a great moment and having a great time with me. Not necessarily a whole entire album. Yeah. But my thing is like, I'd rather give people moments, and then if they really want an album, we'll all know that it's time to put out an album, right. which I already have done as well. It's funny you say moments because it's like in your in your career and me being a fan and, and watching your what, what your growth. Mm -hmm. There's been those moments for Swiss and hip hop. Like I yeah. can remember when Rough Riders Anthem first dropped, yeah. and then another moment was Party Up, yeah, and then it was on to the next. Yeah, and these these are moments, you moments. know. And what what are some of your your favorite moments, like the ones I just mentioned, where you said, "Man, this oh. is a game changer." Man, you know. I, I I go on to the next yeah. because I just was reminiscing on how me and Jay's relationship started 14 years ago, and you know I remember meeting him in his office and and I had my cassette and I was with my uncle D one of the one of my uncles that started Rough Riders, and he gave Jay the cassette and then Jay wanted every song off the cassette <laughs> which had If I Should Die Coming to Age Two Wow uh, Money Cash a um, couple other ones on there so it was like most of volume, most of our hard knock life was on that yeah on that cassette and to be able to have that friendship with Jay from there and to us getting a grammy from on to the next one Man. it just made me look at look at things in a very special way to be able to be so young but to have so much knowledge and have so much fruit from our culture yeah it, it, it's a great feeling y'all have such a dope chemistry too and and uh at that time he was working with artists like clark kent and mm -hmm. and primo and you were such a different sound for him yeah. um did that excite the both of y'all or w were you guys nervous at that point like how would this be taken um i respect jay for taking the risk because a lot of people was a lot of people wasn't wasn't riding with our chemistry in the beginning because it was so different hmm. you know say as money cash where i'm just sliding my hand across the keyboard but <laughs> It gave that sound where he can melodically match a vocal up to, dun, 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 dun. and that's when I, all my choruses was matching the beats at that time. Yeah. So people was like, oh, you know, they was more used to the samples, and so I, I got everybody out of the sample era with the whole Rough Riders movement, yeah. the whole J movement, all the stuff that I was doing, and you know, it's hard for people to accept change in the beginning, but then everybody, I started birthing little Swizzies. Right. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah a couple little swizzies out there. Started birthing little swizzies, which is cool because, you know, Pharrell. I remember Pharrell having a conversation with me saying that, you know, him and him, Rockwell and all of them, was saying that, yo, you know, by you taking that risk, it opened up the doors for us to do what we really yeah. want to do, you know. And then the Neptune sound came, and then Rockwell was able to be sonically crazy without being in that box of a sample, which. How you know. hip hop has to sound yeah. and shit like that, yeah. man. And then fast forward fourteen years later to last week, and there's Jay Z performing it in Ohio <laughs> on to the next at the Obama rally, that man. When you're watching that, and, and 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 when you're watching that, what is that feeling like, man? It's just like we did it again. Yeah, you know, it's like yeah, we did it again. But you know, never let never let those moments make you not hunger for more. Yeah. You know, like my thing is like I'm always a student and even with the accolades and stuff that I have already, I still feel that there's room to grow. And a lot of people like to they, they like to be, you know, full of themselves and like of who they are and what they've done. It's like, okay, what you doing now? Yeah. That's yeah. the biggest question. <laughs>